when they, when um, Nina, our advisor, did go to the room where you was at, that you guys know that the room was not reserved, and that she told you to come back, you guys decided to ignore her. I mean, you guys came back all, by, over an hour later to say we were ready to start a meeting, the meeting was over. We never even had a meeting last week. Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair, so no I want to know why you need approval out of order to get public comment instead of addressing the chair. Since the uh, meeting, the room was not reserved. Arthur Owens does have the floor. The meeting was not, the room was not reserved. She did, no, Nina was not aware, no one was aware about the room. When, room. when we did follow up, it was not reserved. So even Abby Patterson was here herself, and she actually. Point of clarification, if such a rule does exist, it should be provided in writing. Yes, it, it should actually. And point of order as well, Mr. Uh, Chair. To consideration. Mr. <coughs> Chair, point yes. of order. According to a government code, section 54954.3, says a legislative body may not prohibit public criticism of the policies, procedures, programs, or services of the agency or the acts of omissions of the legislative body. And also, in government, in, uh, government code, section uh, subsection 54950, the people of the state do not yield their sovereignty to the agencies which serve them, meaning that if someone has a question or they or they want to speak, whether there be public comment or not, they have the right to address the Senate. So the comment that you made that, oh, you had public comment, does not prohibit them from speaking in any section. Of and time. point of clarification, the room was reserved two weeks ahead of time through the President's Secretary, and it is not our fault that the Secretary was unaware of the college regulation. So we took the proper measures. Because she was unaware, that's not our fault. I didn't say, I'm just saying. You said the room was not, was, reserved. was not reserved. I quote, was not reserved. And they say it was, it was reserved two weeks ahead of time uh, here's my through question. the president's secretary. Point of order, this has nothing to do with our action items. We haven't even got to that. And our new business legislation yes. bill hasn't even moved on. So mm -hmm. it, it, this really is a moot point right now until the end of the meeting. Yes, uh, first off, I would like to thank President Robledo for uh, addressing me of that. Uh, excuse me if I was just about to go to the public. Yes, so I can, uh, I yes, I would like your question okay. to be answered. So I have a question. Was this meeting canceled because your advisor, the person whose actions are in question, coerced the Senate to do so at the expense of the President? No. I'd also no. like to know no. why he's being punished. Point order. Decorum, decorum. I would like to give her a quick answer for that. Uh, I'm not finished with my question, thank you. Okay, well, I'd also okay. like to know why our president is, uh, why it's even a petition to impeach our president for protecting the student body against an advisor. Uh, that is not the issue. Point of order, the chair needs to stop interrupting and addressing, uh, commenting those who recognize this. Totally yes. Uh, I'd like to make sure to the Yes, uh, well, I'd like to formulate my answer. Please, I am giving her a direct answer, please. Uh, about that, it's not against the advisor, and the reason why we could not meet, once again, we didn't just... So are you denying the advisor's coercement to cancel that meeting? Uh, first off... Uh, so it's a direct question. It's a yes or no question. No. You're not denying it? No, you're denying it. Oh, I am denying it. Actually. What is your answer? Okay, ask the right question, yes or no. Yes. Yes. Wait, what was the question? She's saying if the advisor had influence to coerce the meeting. No. I can that. Actually, for point of information, um, it was just stated that the advisor did go over there, so the advisor did know that we were over there and we did have our agenda posted and we did have the room reserved. And, and she did come back over here and you guys did uh, in, engage in using his words in an informal meeting even though you did have a forum. Which we you, did not have forum, sir. That's what was stated. And according to our... our okay. All right. Just stating that the uh, advisor Senator did Ariola, say, But you posted your agenda after our agenda was already posted and took ours down because you didn't like what was on it. Didn't inform anyone that it was taken down so that it could be revised. You just took ours down, posted what you wanted, and now you're saying like you follow a procedure, but you're not informing us that you've done this. We didn't know this until last week when you came in late to the classroom. Can I? Uh, okay, now, last, last week, the, the, the agenda, the approval of the agenda, that's when you approve of the agenda. It's not like we have to get the agenda approved beforehand. Uh, in order to post at the agenda. That's what the point of having approval of the agenda is for. But if you're going to take one down, shouldn't we be informed that a new one was put up? Because, yeah. even because, it, was, because it was posted before the 72-hour deadline, any changes could be made to the agenda. 
But they weren't changes from who were normally used to changes being posted by. Like, if it would have been Don who had took down the, and done the changes, we would have been informed that, uh, that there was a problem and she had to revise it. But because you had done it, none of us were informed of this new agenda, is what I'm saying. And I am a part of the Student Senate. And even though I do not get into it as much as others do, I still have the right to be informed of this. And you, your right was fulfilled by posting the agenda 72 hours before mm -hmm. the but meeting. I, what, I wasn't notified. You did it like sneaky, like under the table, so half of us didn't know. Like the people who are keeping in contact with you on a regular basis are the ones who knew about it, but the rest of the Senate didn't know. Uh, okay, I'm like, there's two uh, individuals. Can I address that? Because that was actually. Uh, we get too many times to address, sir. We yeah, but. Have to go uh, Senator Richard. Senator Richard. Senator Richard. Want a clarification? Senator, please raise your voices. Yes, uh, we will try. Thank you. Mr. Chair and Senate student body, if I could please just explain to you one simple fact. There is no regulations or policies in regard to this other than the simple fact that it must be posted on the door. There is nothing in here that this body has requested for it to be sent to each of you individually. Not a requirement. The, the student body president has the right to to do the um, to do the agenda, and his his executive staff underneath him, or body, or members, have the duty to report to him and to give him that information. Should they not follow that, such as the secretary has not been for the last two years, even when I was student body president, the uh, it's supposed to go to the student body president in order to approve that agenda and to set it up. You're not required to have an advisor here at this meeting, according to state law. The only reason that the advisor is present in these meetings, she does not have a say into the goings on of what you do, other than the fact to prevent you from bringing a liability upon this state, or uh, excuse me, bringing a liability upon the, the district. So I just remind you that the student government body, it's your voice, it's what you want, it's your money, it's what you want, it's your agenda, it's your meeting. No one else's. Thank you. Uh, Thank you, Mr. Chair. I can't speak for anybody else, but I can say for myself that the advisor did not force us in any way, at least not myself. Uh, she tried, we tried to have our meeting, but we couldn't. Uh, there's two sides, so she didn't force us in any way. I'm sure you're referring to this paper and all the comments. Don't agree with most of them, well, actually, any of as far as uh, the meeting being held on uh, the agenda, last week you accused Dawn of putting, not putting up the agenda 72 hours in advance. So how is it that you accused her last week of doing that and the saying that you posted yours after her? So technically, if you were telling the truth last week, then your meeting would have been uh, illegal. Can I address that question? Uh, I would also uh, like to address something as well real quick. Uh, can I just public's right to testify. There will, well, as chair, I would like to state something. I will give you the time, and there are other you, people who do have their hands up. Uh, I would yeah, like but to he just made a comment directly that. towards me. Uh, so I would like okay, to address go ahead and get an answer. That. Okay. The last week, I said that anything that was posted prior to the to my agenda is no longer void. I mean, valid because it was changed, and it was changed within the time frame before the 72-hour time period. No, no, no. You accused her of not putting it 72 hours in advance. You accused her of doing that. And then you said you posted yours after hers. That's what you said. The agenda that was posted was not the valid the valid meeting because the agenda the agenda that was posted by our secretary was not the valid agenda. The agenda that was posted by myself. It is the valid. Okay. No, 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 I'm not. I'm not. Okay, look, I'm not saying that yours wasn't valid. What I'm saying is that you accused her of not putting yours up seventy two hours in advance. That's what I'm saying. I'm, so, I'm not saying yours isn't valid. I, I wouldn't make that. You, you did say that. You did say that. Mm -hmm. No, he stated that it wasn't there 72 hours. Out of order? Out of order? He stated that it was, it was can, order, I, can, I, can I address, I understand what he's quite saying now. The agenda that was posted is not, was not posted 72 hours after the, I, I posted, I took down the original one and posted up the one that is turned into the valid one. So after the 72 hour period, the agenda that was posted was no longer valid because it was not posted within the 72 hour period because it was taken down before the 72 hour period and a new agenda was posted. So that's why I stated. 